Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to set up myself a Christmas binder for my cash envelopes. Since now we're getting into the Christmas season and I'm going to start shopping for all of the people on my list. So I actually went ahead and made some new envelopes. I wanted to make them a little bit more festive and fun and Christmassy. So I actually got some scrapbook paper from this one's from Michaels actually, and I will have it linked down in the description. It is the 12 by 12 pack. There's 48 sheets, and they had a bunch of different collections that you could choose from, and I believe this was half off too. So pretty good deal on this pack. And I only used, I think I picked my favorite four patterns from here and pulled them, and I only used one sheet of each of those patterns to make these envelopes. Now, I have a tutorial on my channel already on how I make these vellum envelopes. The only thing that I did different for this was to add this little strip of scrapbook paper, which I cut down to size. I just cut it down to size, I believe, two inches in height, and then the length of your envelopes, or the, um, the vellum, just so that way it matches. I did uh, do a little different lettering on these, uh, in Canva. Again, I have all that info in my tutorial on how I did all of that over there. The only thing I did was just cut this piece down to size. So that way it fit on this bottom section and then just like sandwich them all together. So hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, I just basically put this here and then just put it all through a laminator and it seems like it's pretty... Yeah, it's pretty good. And I only did one side. I, I left the back empty so that way I didn't have to worry about that. I actually like seeing the money, so that's why I wanted to go the vellum route on this, which you could actually just make it so, so much easier and just fold the paper. Like this cute uh, like festive Christmas paper, just fold it into the size that you want your envelope and just stick that through the laminator and it'll just make this whole process way easier. Maybe put like a little like label with the, or write the name on the top. Cause this was a lot of work. This is a lot of work to do these. Again, I have that tutorial on my channel, so definitely check it out. Uh, but yeah, I kind of wanted to see, I like seeing the money through the envelope. So that's why I went more like, it's a little bit more than halfway, maybe like three quarters of the way up with the paper so I can get some of the festive paper on here and then um, the name and then I can see the, the money. And I actually just realized I didn't punch this. So I'm gonna punch this. And one thing about this little punch, this one has been giving me issues, is sometimes I don't check it to make sure it's set to the right holes. So definitely check, punch a piece of paper first and make sure the holes line up to the binders because I've made the mistake of doing that so many times. So now that's something that I do for myself before I punch, which I already did earlier, I already double checked it. But I have envelopes for everybody in my family that I plan on buying a gift for, which I already saved um, enough money to do that. So that's, that's the best. So I have my Christmas envelope in here. So I'm actually gonna pull this out. I still plan on putting money in this envelope, just so far I already have enough money for all the individual gifts that I plan on buying. So I have my Christmas envelope and I have money in here. I have some cash in here. I have 500 in the bank, which I actually went to the bank and pulled out that 500. So that's all of these 50s. I got them all in the 50s. So I'm gonna be putting those in, this env in these envelopes. And then I have 145 in cash. So I'm just gonna put all this money out so that way I can put it in the envelopes that I plan on putting them in. You can see that whole process. And then this, I guess I will just put aside for now. And then this 500, I already took it out, so I'll put this back with all my other placeholders. So I do plan on starting a new binder for this just for the holiday season. And then once the holiday season's over and I'm done buying individual gifts, I will go back to saving in this envelope in my regular binder. So this is just for, you know, for December for the next month, basically. 
of me spending. So I have this green envelope or this green binder. I got this off of Amazon. It's one of those like magnetic closure ones. And I figured it's green. So it's going to go be again festive for this whole new Christmas binder. And I'm thinking, so let me show you the, the ones that I have. So I have my sister Vanessa. I did like the little peppermints on hers. I love this this little Christmas light one. That one's my favorite. So that one's Aiden. Grandma has a little, it's like the poinsettia or the berries. Like the poinsettia leaves, I think. I think. Um, I have a Christmas one. So this is going to be just for Christmas, which I'll explain in a bit. My, my niece Natalie did the peppermints. My sister-in-law Blanca with the stripes. And then my brother-in-law. Oh, I did the in-laws with all the stripes, the peppermint stripes. My mom, uh, my stepdad, my brother, Lorenzo, and then my other nephew, Ethan. Do I have all the nephews? Did I do Jacob? Oh no, am I missing one? <laughs> am I missing one? That is so funny. I think I am. Okay, so I need to make, I'm, I'm missing my nephew, Jacob. I can't believe I did that. Okay. But it is what it is. I have to make him one. For now, though, I'm going to continue setting up. And then I will make that envelope. And I feel really bad that I didn't make that envelope. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. But at least I caught it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Christmas first in here. And then I'm just going to go down the line. So I'm going to do my mom. There's my mom. And then my grandma. Actually, no, because my mom and grandma have the same pattern one. Okay, let me see which one my stepdad has. Okay, so he's got like the peppermint one. Okay, and then I'll go with Aiden next. And then my sister. And my brother-in-law. I'm going to kind of go by families or like households, I guess. Uh, then we'll do my brother and my sister-in-law, my niece. Oh, I forgot my grandma. I put my grandma in there. And then Ethan. And then I have to make one more. Oh, my goodness. I have to make one for Jacob. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so grandma's going to go here. All right. And then I'm just going to stick Christmas in here. I'm going to put Jacob's in here for the meantime, and then I'm going to make him a nice new envelope in a bit. But probably not in this video because they do take a lot of time. I'm telling you, they take time. And I just want to set this up. At least the majority of this will be set up. Okay, so Christmas is going to get the leftover money that I don't put in the envelope. So I'm going to go on to Mom. So for the most part, everybody's going to do is going to get $50 in the envelope, with the exception of one. Thomas, $50, Grandma, $50, I need to run this through the laminator one more time, still, you know, fixing these envelopes, so my nephew Aiden is going to get 100 so he's not only my nephew, he's actually my godson too, so he gets a little bit extra, a lot of it extra so he gets a hundred on that one then my sister that's the perk of being a godchild <laughs> being chosen for me being chosen as the godmother uh johnny gets 50 my brother gets 50 and i feel like oh i'm gonna be short money too yeah because i totally did I not count correctly? I hope I did. I hope I didn't mess this completely up. I thought I was like all good and then I realized I'm not. Okay, so I'm short a little bit. So Natalie and then Ethan. Oh no, I'm not short. I did I did account for Jacob. I just didn't do his envelope. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one is for Jacob. Let's see, which envelope am I gonna make him? I think I'm gonna do the little, again, these are my favorite, so I'm gonna do the little light one for his name so that he'll have an envelope with lights on it. And it'll say Jacob on there, all nice and pretty. And then I have 45 left. So this is gonna go in Christmas. And this I plan on using to buy 
Like I have a secret Santa gift I have to buy at work. So that's $30. Uh, also, I'm gonna add to it each week still. Maybe, I, I think I'm gonna get like little treats for the kids too. That's like a separate fund. I'm not using their the money that I put in the envelopes in here to buy like, maybe like, you know, little treats and snacks and little things, maybe like a stocking or something filled with stuff for the kids. So things like that. So that's gonna go into Christmas, like that. Okay, for the most part, like I said, this is pretty complete with the exception of that last envelope. The other thing I wanted to do was, usually in my binders, I have like these cute little charms in here, which people have asked me like, what are those charms for? They're just for decorative purposes. They're not for anything other than that. They're just cute. So my friend who made those charms, when she used to make them, she sent me a bunch of them uh last i think it was last year and i love them so much so i'm gonna use some of these in my binders i have like a little tree and a cute little sweater a little snowman i think i want to use the gingerbread he's cute yeah we'll use the gingerbread i just clip them onto the envelope like that on the front and that kind of call it a day like that but I also want to change out these so I have this cute little leaf but I'm going to make them more Christmassy so let's see should I do Santa I want to do I'll do this cute snowman this way oops sorry I'm trying to put this the right way okay and then, I don't know, the little thing fell off. Okay, I gotta fix this. Put this back on. Okay. So that's gonna go there. It's just a little modern snowman. And then this black one, I'm gonna do, take this little kitty out. I'm gonna do this, just this little tree. I feel like I'm messing this up. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mm. They're technically supposed to be hanging off this way, I think. That's why. But I'm trying to make them hang off the other way. But you know what? I'll have it hang off that way. Because they're like little planner terms. Okay, so that works. So let me fix this one because I feel like it's going to fall off the way that I did it. It's supposed to be hooked on in this section. Okay, then this will just hang that way. Okay, I have, um, I've actually never put one on this one. Yeah, I'll just put a Santa. We'll put Santa on this one. Why not? Okay. There's Santa. All right, so that is it for my setup. Sorry, I totally messed up and didn't have everything complete, but you kind of got the idea of what I'm going for. Uh, in my next video, I'll have like my cash stuffing and all that. I'll have this all complete and finished, but I really like how this looks. It looks so cute with these fun festive envelopes. So I can start spending, so that's good. Oh, so I have a fun little update. I for, I remembered right when I finished filming, I always put the these, when I'm done laminating, I put them into a book so they flatten. And I knew I didn't forget him. And look, I even did the, the one that I thought I was going to do for him because I love that one. All right, so I'm just going to cut this on camera really quick just so you can see the process, I guess. Why not? So I can finish this one off and put it in there like it should be in there. But I'm just going to cut off the top so that way this opens up into an envelope. Okay. And then I have like certain areas on my, on my cutter that I use to help me. So I basically go to this line. I want like that much from the bottom of the envelope to give me the area that I'm going to punch. Again, I have a video explaining a little bit more in detail 
on how to do this. All right, and then I'm just gonna cut to the side. I'm gonna leave a little bit of an edge so I don't open the envelope because you don't wanna cut into the, you don't wanna cut too far into the sides. Okay, and on this side I do measure out so that way they're all the same size. So I think I had measured this one out to six and three quarters is what I was doing. So that way they all line up. Okay, put that one down. All right, and then I have my Jacob envelope, yay. Okay, so let me punch the holes on this one. And put this into here like it should be. Ethan and then Jacob. I'm actually going to take this out. That was just my placeholder. <laughs> Alright, so that's Jacob. Now everything is all as it should be. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Again, I have that video of how to make the cash envelopes on my channel, just the normal way, like this. And then I just added that extra bit underneath. I moved the font up in the template that I made. Again, I show that on the video. And then I just added that strip here. So definitely check it out if you're interested to see to, to make some on your own. It is tedious, it's a time consuming thing, but I feel like it's worth it because I can make whatever I want, which I love. All right, so that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Um, if, yeah, if you're not already subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button so you can check out other content that I put up. I put up budgeting and planner-related content. I have something coming going out every single day. There's always something to watch on my channel every day. So hope to see you in the next one that comes out.